How you doing, everybody? Hold on a second. I just just left the post office. Sorry, I was talking with uh, the staff here, the manager, uh, who I, I come quite often to, to the Tokyo Station post office. You can see Tokyo Station is just across the street right there and was discussing uh, about the mail to Europe right now. A lot of it has been canceled due to the lack of just flights being canceled there. And I wanted to give you the latest information. I'm doing it at a time that is also more convenient to our viewers in the European Union and on the other side of, the, of, uh, of Russia. So uh, I hope that this information can be a little bit helpful to some. I just, every month I send um, a few hundred postcards to Patreon supporters uh, who watch and support this series. And uh, it's been a little bit challenging to do that. I have a list here of yesterday. Um, this is, it says here on March 8th, you see on the top there, uh, the United Kingdom uh, Finland, France, Germany, Monaco, like Belgium. These are some really big countries that get a lot of mail. Were was stopped here. You see on the on the left side, uh, there's a circle. It says that there is mail going there by air, and then on the right side, you can see there is now an X, and there's no mail going to England, and France, and Belgium, uh, and Germany. So that means that. I have to hold on to the postcards until the international mail opens up again. I checked the um, departures board at Haneda and Narita Airport and the flights to Paris, the flights to Frankfurt, flights going to continental uh, Europe are have been canceled, a, a great deal of them. Now, according to Japan Post, mail is still going to places like Switzerland, um, I think Holland, uh, the Netherlands still has mail, but there's like an asterisk saying that it could change and be canceled tomorrow. So don't send the mail because we don't know the situation. We also have, I, I also have viewers in Ukraine and of course the mail there has been um, canceled uh, or suspended and they're not sure when it's going to restart. Of course not. We're not sure when flights are going to be able to go. A lot of the flights that depart from Narita and Haneda, they go right over Russia. And right now, because of the war that's going on over there, uh, it has really impacted mail. Um, in fact, mail everywhere has been impacted. Rates have gone up. And in June, I, I get a bunch of announcements that have to do with the mail. Starting in June, um, small packet mail it doubles in price. It used to be I don't know, you could send up to like 100 grams and it was just a couple hundred yen. It starts at now $24 or, or 2,400 yen, which is more in line to what the United States charges for uh, international airmail. Um, that starts at one kilogram. So it doesn't matter if you're sending a small, small uh, packet. Starting in June, you can send up to a kilogram for 2,400 yen, which is really challenging for me also EMS changing is changing its prices and, and that's getting a lot more expensive so the mail services all over the world are really suffering this is the postcard for this month you can see uh, it's the snow monkeys from Nagano I went there to film this episode is gonna be dropping I think next week where I take you and, and watch the monkeys relaxing I have some really beautiful stamps on here uh, this is um, kimono uh, kimono fashion stamps they're kind of cool I'm going to be sending these to uh, viewers in uh, United States, Canada, Australia, um, Singapore, Hong Kong, Philippines. There's certain places I could still get it. I think um, uh, I have a few viewers in Africa and a few viewers in South America that are also getting a postcard sent to them. But unfortunately, uh, mail is not going to be going to Europe. I'm just going to hold on to it. But don't worry, because I've been holding on to, I've been holding on to postcards to India to Saudi Arabia, to Romania. There's like about seven countries that have been holding on postcards for over, I think India for over two years. And there's several backers that just keep on uh, as a member of the postcard club. And I can't say thank you enough for that. I just feel really apologetic that I can't send these out. Uh, if I did, there's a very high likelihood, despite it not being on that list I showed you, that it will be canceled uh, and suspended. And if I'm sending a postcard, there's no return address, so I'm not gonna get that back. Do you have any questions? As I pan up, uh, this is the Tokyo Central Post Office. I'm like a regular customer here. I come here several times a month. They know me. I, I go in there, they just smile. They say, oh, you're back. <laughs> Some of them watch only in Japan too. 
so it's not it's not too bad yoko san writes in here it's a uh, two euro per liter here in in uh in germany so the gas prices are going up right now every everything is going up and it's just a really challenging time and uh tokyo paul 360 thank you and i know that um you know because we do have viewers in ukraine i hope uh, you're waking up to um to safety and we, you know we're all really here in japan it's it's on the news and we're all talking about it and we just got some refugees coming in to uh, japan a, a grand total of like eight not a lot but there are, are some uh ukrainians who have family in japan japan has opened the doors to them and uh hopefully there's a lot more that come here because it'd be pretty cool um to have some faces here that are different we just don't have any international tourism whatsoever then he's saving see Steven, I, I know that your package is in transit too <laughs> now the packages we sent are already there so i was able to send some of the fireworks i'm panning around tokyo station right now i was able to send some of the fireworks kickstarter rewards um before that this happened and a lot of them have have already arrived into europe and the countries uh, so those packages are not uh, impacted but the ones that are uh, starting uh, from t yesterday not going to be able to go uh, to europe at this time and the suspension is not it's not determined for how long but it is a temporary suspension mail uh, mail ems packages to canada are also suspended currently so are uh, ems to australia and australia also has small packets suspended but i'm guessing that that's going to change since australia has opened its door to tourism recently you're seeing a live picture of Tokyo Station right now. So I, I just wanted to give you an update. If you have any questions on this mail, I'll be checking it uh, over the next 24 hours. Just leave a comment down below, and I'm happy to answer you. Jonathan, Ta Hey, Jonathan, in, in Singapore, writes in here, I got the fireworks starter package in Singapore. Hope everyone got their packages. Um, we, we had to make just a little bit <laughs> of uh, asterisk on there. We ended up losing about $2,000 from that project because I'm, I don't even know why I'm smiling. I'm just happy that I was able to get the packages out before they shut it down in Europe um, because we had to send them by DHL uh, because Japan Post wasn't sending them and we couldn't have the packages sitting because the Japan Fireworks Association needed to get those packages out and they were in charge of sending it. But um, we went way over budget on the sending of it. So if you didn't receive your package, please let me know. I don't know what we can do to help you out with that. Um, because we don't, as I said, we're like under budget, but any package that is returned to us, we're gonna make an effort to try to get that package to you, probably get in contact and see how we can resend it. Um, I think we had a, a deal with DHL because we had kind of a volume of packages to send out, but DHL is really expensive um, to use those services. We just don't have a lot of options, um, but the post is going up everywhere. So it's not just, um, you know the suspensions the uncertainty it's it's hit really hard and uh it's something that's weighing on my mind very heavily because i know um this channel is greatly uh, funded by viewers uh who are so um like these postcards that i'm sending out they're nice postcards so don't worry uh can i and i have a space in the house to keep them until mail starts up again and you're gonna get all of these postcards in one blast, or I'll I'll separate them because I know MJ in United Arab, uh, UAE, uh, got like ten postcards before UAE closed its door again. <laughs> so MJ, I'm still holding on to your postcards, buddy, because I know the mail going to UAE to Dubai is not um, happening right now. It's suspended once again. Um, there's also inflation, rising prices. Daniel, it is such a really it's such a challenging time. Um, the prices are starting to rise here in Japan too. Gasoline prices are going up right now. Um, the, the prices of everything in Japan, you can see them noticeably. It wasn't like the, the same as in Japan, uh, in the United States, but we're starting to see everyday prices going up. And everything is, this world is so connected that we feel the impact here in Japan that you're feeling in other places. The prices of gas, the prices of food, the prices of heating. I couldn't believe how much we paid this month for, for gas and electric. Um, it's just everything has gone up. I didn't know that electric was dependent on international sources. I, I, I don't know why, but the electric bill really went up. Maybe just we, we, maybe with Leo, we're, we're using more electricity because we have a young baby. Um, and thank you to Kilpaw for helping to pay for our electric bill, buddy. 
I'm gonna stuff off on the way back home. I'm getting gonna go back yet, back home because I have to give Leo a bath. I'm in charge of that, um, and I'll pick something up for Kanai. Uh, get some um, apple pie at the at the uh, uh, New York restaurant that they have on the other side of Tokyo Station. That's always nice. Um, Leo is a big power consum consumer. D Real selects. He's a big power consumer. I get Glenn. I gotta change that emoji too. That's when he was so young. We gotta get some one. Uh, get some changes here. Yeah, let's not discuss uh, some of the. I don't want to discuss uh, the war too much. Um, that's happening over over on the other side. Uh, this is a channel on Japan. I know we have really strong feelings, and I see those images too. Japan is playing its part, um, doing what it can, mostly following the U.S. lead on this. But I, I'll I'll give you an update at the proper time when things start to move a little bit more in Japan. I think. Um, this next week coming up, we're going to hear some more news um, out of Japan, not just on travel, but on a lot of things. And at that time, I'll give you an update on the situation here in Japan, not just for travel, but for on a lot of things and try to answer some of your questions. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're doing a day trip to somewhere. So Kanai, Leo and I are doing a day trip. So we'll try to take you with us and show you another area of Japan uh, tomorrow. So uh, there'll be a couple of live streams, which should be a lot of fun. I, we're, how are you and the family doing uh, Juju Bees 21? We're doing fine. We're just, we're hanging in there. Ticket prices are going up. Right now, a lot of the flights are going empty. The capacity is down because a lot of them just have mail. A lot of them are flying with mail, so they don't want a lot of passengers. They're, they're filled up with mail underneath there, so they're doing okay. But they're, the flights, again, from Narita and Haneda Airport, the ANA flight to Paris has been canceled, and the one to Frankfurt was canceled, so I saw that cancellations down the board uh, cut that on flights that are going across Europe uh, right now because of the uncertainty of the war going on Ukraine a lot of those flights go over Russia and we just don't know right now so it's safer to cancel those flights so um, a lot of people are scrambling right now uh, Japanese who had business and and reasons to go over to Europe um, just can't make it there and neither can the mail so that's just an update uh, to our European view viewers and a few that are still awake in in uh, United States probably on the West Coast I've always enjoyed the in-country overnight ferries you know there's a lot of the transportation um, episodes that I can see myself starting to do um, now that the country is opening up a little bit more um, I can I think Japan is seeing the although the rates are quite high still here of infection with uh, the third booster shots going up pretty quickly right now I can see Japan starting to to open up to domestic tourism and they've opened up more to, to students and business people coming in. They've raised that from 3,500 to 5,000 to 7,000 really quickly. So I can see uh, the talk more on international tourism starting maybe after um, the spring. So I'll do, a, I'll do a more general update. We just, right now it's kind of a gut feeling based on what you hear on TV, what the analysts are talking about on the TV news, and then what Prime Minister uh, Kishida is talking about and his basically his demeanor when he talks about this you can get kind of an idea if he's optimistic or pessimistic about the future and where travel the direction that it's it's going i'm watching this from sweden so i appreciate uh, that you thought about us absolutely I, i'm holding on we have about 15 swedish supporters that get postcards so i'm going to be holding on to to uh we, we and, and it's all over sweden too we have uh supporters in Uppsala. Uh, Stockholm in certain areas down in Malmo and even uh, Gothenburg so we have uh, backers all across Sweden which is great and we, I'm gonna hold on to your postcards I apologize but they'll be they'll be in good shape uh, hanging out um, in uh, John's house in Tokyo I am fo is he a good prime minister I think he's a competent prime minister <laughs> I don't know I never messed, met him but um, he's 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 very he loves Japan very much and he's doing what he thinks is best and you can't fault him um, whether I agree with him or not. So he's, he's, he's doing as, as good a job. I think there'll be some, some good younger prime ministers coming after uh, Kishida. But it's too early to tell. For the next coffee, uh, Ben Robinson, thank you, friends in Singapore. I appreciate that very much. And I see Gran Dania's here from Hawaii. Isn't it late in Hawaii? Aloha. Aloha. Yeah, so join me tomorrow. I'll, I'm going to rent, get the rent-a-car at 8, 8, 8.30 in the morning, and we'll try to do a live stream leaving Tokyo by car. Kanai will be with me. And then um, we're going to do 
a live stream from a very beautiful spot. I think if we can get there in time. And if so, um, it's gonna be a real treat. I think you're gonna like tomorrow's live stream. If, if, we, if we decide to go there, it's up to Kanai and Leo what they wanna do. All right, everybody, aloha, over and out, mahalo. Uh, over and out from Tokyo Station. And uh, if you have any questions, once again, just write me in the comments below about mail or packages and I will try to respond um, uh, usually in the first 24 hours of a video. I'm, I'm very proactive in, in responding to questions um, or hit me up on the Patreon um, direct messages or on Instagram messages. You can try me there. See you later. And you're very welcome. I hope these postcards make it to you in America. You know, tag me in an Instagram post uh, in, a, in stories if you get your postcard because it's always nice to see it getting, getting to you on the other side. Take care.